In a society that equates tidiness to responsibility and productivity, it's really important to recognize that being messy isn't always a sign of being lazy. The truth is, overwhelming clutter and disorganization are often symptoms of a bigger health problem, explains the New York Times in their article, A Clutter Too Deep for Mere Bins and Shelves. Messes can sometimes be a reflection of the deeper emotional turmoil you may be dealing with, almost like a distress symbol crying out for help. To learn if your messiness may be a sign of unhealed wounds, keep watching. Protective barrier. If you've been through something traumatic, chances are it was a terrifying experience where you didn't feel safe. So it makes sense that you would crave protection. And sometimes clutter can feel like a protective barrier, according to trauma recovery coach, Valerie Huard. When one is exposed to trauma, people build guards around themselves. If they start losing the stuff or declutter, they feel the void inside of themselves. It's almost like your mess becomes a protective shield that brings you a sense of control and stability. A needed distraction. Trauma can make you feel paralyzed, both mentally and physically. It can feel like you can't escape those dreaded moments as they play over and over again in your head. When you need something to distract you, the last thing you may want is to be in a clean environment that feels sterile. Instead, a mess can bring you into the present moment and distract you from your pain. As professor of psychiatry at Yale, David F. Tolan explains, the problem isn't the mess itself and fixing the mess. It's about getting to the root of the problem. In other words, the mess is a way for you to cope with the trauma you experienced, your brain. Trauma affects the brain, specifically the prefrontal cortex. And these changes can make organizing extremely challenging, especially if you desperately want to clean and organize, explains trauma coach Valerie Huard. Understanding this matters because the prefrontal cortex is responsible for your executive functioning, which controls your ability to plan and make decisions. This may be why cleaning can sometimes feel like an impossible task. So next time, instead of beating yourself up because you're not able to organize your space like you want to, try to be more gentle with yourself and understand that your brain is dealing with a lot right now, but it can heal and get better. Losing control. Experiencing something traumatic can make you feel small and vulnerable, like you've lost control. According to an article from Psych Central, this can result in mental health conditions like depression that make cleaning up dishes feel much too overwhelming. As the days pass, things can start to pile up and you may feel like the dishes have become a symbol of the lack of control you've experienced. Not only that, but mental health conditions like depression can completely drain you of the energy needed to clean when you're already feeling completely overwhelmed, explains Kendra Cherry, author of the book, Everything Psychology, Not Alone. If you relate to these signs, we want you to know that you aren't alone and you don't need to feel ashamed. You've had to survive a lot, and it makes sense that you haven't been able to be as clean as you want. Living in a judgmental society can be super hard, but there are people who can see through the mess, the real you. Just like TikToker Ari, for example, who helps those who have experienced trauma by cleaning their homes for free. She symbolizes the kindness that you deserve. If you've been craving to have a clean home, we want you to know that it is possible for you. But most importantly, healing can be a possibility for you. And a clean home could just be the cherry on top. Maybe this video is a sign that it could be the right time for you to ask for mental health support or help. And we'll be rooting for you as your forever cheerleader in the process. And before you go, please share this video with someone who you think it may help or comment below what you found most useful. Remember, you matter. And we can't wait to see you again real soon.